Who's ready to fly on a zip line? I, I am. am. Go, baby. Apex Predator. The fuck? Okay. So we're doing Rust. Guys, welcome to the new zipline update, which is scheduled for release tomorrow. And damn, it is going to be... The fuck? Wow! Good evening, everybody. Flack is back. Like I said, we've got the new zipline update, and holy shit, is it the coolest thing that has ever happened in Rust? I know I've said this countless times, but honestly, this particular time, it is the coolest thing that you've ever seen. Now, you obviously know about the pylons, you've seen the Shadowfrax video, you know how they work. But... Do you know just how important they are? Okay, check this out. I'm going to go to the other side. We've got a little pylon here, and this is a starting point of the pylon. It is right at the beginning of a circuit. It doesn't connect to anything else. I'm going to climb to the top quickly. I must admit, they are an absolute pain in the ass to climb. They are beautifully decorated. They fit the part, definitely. They've got this whole treehouse lofty vibe. But let me show you why this is the coolest thing that has ever happened to this game. Now, I'm going to mark the starting point of this route. And have a look at this. Push E on it, I automatically hook on. If I hold W, I can speed up. I'm going quite slow now. There we go, W. It makes sparks come out when you hold W. Very nice touch. I like that. Now we're going to speed on to the other one. And look how far I've already traveled on my first zipline. That's like 10% of the map. So I'm going to use the magic of admin flying, and I'm going to get to the end of this route every year. Now you can see I've traveled a massive distance in a very short amount of time. Just down the road here, we have the start of a new route, but this one, this is a big one. So I've gotten from year to year, I've ran across to this one, and now I'm at this particular tower. Now through the magic of gravity, I'm gonna travel upwards, somehow. Okay, now I've gotten from there to there. Let's see how far this particular line can take us. I can travel backwards if I want to, but we're going to travel forward and see exactly how far we can go. So I've traveled all the way from there to there. That is more than halfway across the map. That is a significant portion of traveling that I did in quite frankly, two minutes. Okay, now it's starting to go a little bit inland. Okay, so from the southernmost point of the map on spawn to the bandit camp in about three minutes. Oops, you can see there I got disconnected by a tree. Remember, this is procedurally generated like the trees itself. So if you bump into a tree, unfortunately, it is going to knock you off. And if you're high enough, it could kill you. Going to manually go to the next tower. Oops, knocked off again. Luckily, I'm right next to the next tower. Okay, you can see I can only come back this way. I can't go that way. When you see the cable connected without that little metal thing, you can only travel to it. You can't travel away from it. No metal thing, can't travel that way. So this is like a central point on the map for these little towers right next to Bandit Camp. You can see nothing's connected to those metal things. You need one of those metal things in order to zip out. So let's see where that tower that I'm looking at now is actually headed to. Okay, the secondary line over here looks like it's taking me to the top left, the northwest of the map. Another tree, I'm probably going to fall in this. Ooh, look at that. Got myself a little treehouse here. My little duck feet in the treehouse. Love it. So all the way till the top left of the map, let's go back to that central point next to Bandit Town quickly. And I mean, think about the advantages of these towers, not necessarily camping them, but just looking down on these little gas stations and monuments, and they are very high up. And I think they can add an extra interesting dynamic to the game itself. And I mean, just think about the location of these towers. They are like based all over the map. They are very tall. They are overlooking these monuments and gas stations and stuff. It's going to add a very interesting aspect to the game, and it's actually going to make things a lot more exciting when it comes to traveling in massive distances. Okay, I'm going to follow this line here. You can see I'm going all the way past Outpost. Very nice. These things basically reach to every corner of the map and the point I'm trying to make about all these travels that I'm doing is that the system of the ziplines travels right across the map. 
Now you know how it is when you spawn, everyone spawns more or less in the same locations, it's very difficult to get started, and just to travel northwards on the map is very difficult. Now with the zip lines, I suspect you can get from the bottom of the map to the top of the map within seconds. I mean, let's face it, transportation in Rust is an absolute bitch. If you can find a horse, that's epic, but unfortunately most horses are always taken. You can't go grab a car because cars need parts. You can't go grab a kayak because then you have to get a workbench and you have to make a paddle. You could find a boat but they're super rare. So essentially all you can do is run and hope that nobody kills you. Also if you're wondering about this strange little egg suit thingy that I'm wearing. That's one of the items that you can buy. You can literally draw on it and stuff. Now I've just turned myself into an African penguin. Very sexy. This update is scheduled for tomorrow and I suspect a bunch of fun and epic plays with these appliances. It's going to be incredible. I cannot wait. Thank you so much for your time. I do hope you enjoyed this video. By the way, if you guys haven't seen, I've got a podcast. I just interviewed Blueprint, Mimeo. I just did Sir Winter. Man, I'm going to make a diss track on my team. And I made a Rust diss track on my whole team i still kind of remember the lyrics i am not saying any of them right oh now, come on the, the way you say my balls are fresh and smooth it's just it's, it's dude they are oh. i won't lie like I, I could show that is disturbingly smooth you know what i mean like a barbie doll and and next on the podcast is william he's gonna do his official face reveal and spoon kids coming on the channel it's gonna be absolutely nuts Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. And to my darling, beautiful patrons, I adore you guys. Check you next time. Flack out.